Alright, a little bit more videoing. People on bikes. There's lots of walks everywhere you go. There's lots of cows about as well. Yeah, this part of the Quantox, this is where I I can actually feel my sister Jude here. I can I can imagine her walking along here with Stuart. Loving it. That's the unfortunate thing with uh, her passing, really, because this has always been so beautiful and special to me up here, you know. Um, to see it with a hint of sadness is a different perspective completely to what I'm, I normally feel when I'm up here. I come up here to lift myself, to feel at peace. And I know it will come. Um, the hint of sadness is quite in, quite a lot at the moment, really, because of my sister dying this year. And knowing she's got permission to have her ashes put up here somewhere. <sighs> knowing I don't know where they are going to be put yet. Whether I'll ever know, I don't know. Um, but I, I know if there is such a thing as being a free spirit around, that she'll be here with me now, walking with me. I can feel her. I can feel her. We used to do a long time ago, mind. We always used to do walks together. Always. We always like walking. Anyway, you can smell the heather and the gorse. It's beautiful. It's not sending me into sneezing fits because it's natural scent. It's natural and it's lovely. Oh, it's beautiful. Reminds me of really nice roses. Nice, really nice roses. It reminds me of walking up here, being embraced by these beautiful plants. Even the ferns look a bit more alive here. There must be a little bit of water stored for them here. It's funny how sometimes you can have a colour on one side of a bank and nothing on another. And then you've got this, these sort of blonde looking grasses that are pretty as well. Lots of bee activity. Of course, another reason for me videoing all this is um, not just to share it with others, and maybe if anyone's interested, um, but for the, f the moments I have left on the planet as a living spirit, and maybe um, immobile-ish, you know, not able to do this, I can put the video on and go on a journey. And that's why I'm doing some of the videos slightly longer rather than lots and lots of short ones. I do join some together but to get more of a feel of the walks if you video a bit more video a bit more of it to get the feeling of it all and I was right over there on that hill fort earlier Wood Hill Woodland Hill going all through there identifying parts of the old hill fort yeah, climb right up, nearly to the top. I will go back and go around the other side of it. I shall continue to explore it. It will be another visit and I've got a different route I will take. I've got different, different routes. There's been a few people, a few bikers today. More than when the heat wave was on. There's one group of um, people, or one family, there was 25 of them. Adults and children. That was, um, they were up on the fort. I've seen them for ages. 
Yeah, so um, in the future I got my videos. I know you can get other people's, but it's something different doing your own, isn't it? It's personal, isn't it? You can do your own reflections. And it's nice to hear other people's, of course. To hear other people's reflections as they're going along and discussing the world and how they feel and whatever. I think it's good. I think it's good to be able to share. And things you don't want to share, well, you keep to yourself. They're personal on those ones. I do edit and I do have some videos I don't actually share. I've got an awful lot of wood walks and western woods. Because I'm up that wood nearly every week. I don't put every single video of that wood on now. I used to in the beginning. Now I just keep them. I'm doing a project with them, dividing them up into seasons. The wood at different times of the year, that sort of thing. Trees. Particular trees at different times of the year. That's a different project. And there we've got all the arable land of Somerset. I've got Taunton and that all over that way. Beyond this arable, we'll get the Exmoor National Park, of course, which I still have to explore properly. I've only ever really driven through it. Um, it's funny how you've got to wait till you're retired to have the time. And then you do need a vehicle to get out to these places. Okay, you might get a bus to drop you, but is there a bus to pick you up? That is the problem. Look at that, look at that color. Just look at that. I need to come up here when it's snowing, you know. I really need to visit here in the winter. Oh yeah. I can't remember the name of that point there, but I've been on there. That could be that family again that you seen earlier. Or is it someone with dogs this time? Yeah, there's all sorts of walks around from there as well. That part. I've been on there. I have been on there. I felt that on video from another time. But to get a little bit towards Exmoor, the plan is... God, I've just seen a big cow on the path ahead of me. The plan is... God, I hope it's friendly. It's coming straight for me. The plan is to at least do Dunkery Beacon. At least do Dunkery Beacon. I'm going to see what it's doing because I can nip across there, look. That's what I'll do because he's, he's sort of hovered there at the moment. Oh my God, there's loads of them. God, I don't like the look of this. Try and be brave, Sheila. I could be killed now. Do you know that? This is... I've just bumped into a wild herd. I've got no idea if they're friendly or anything. And there doesn't seem to be another pathway. I just have to walk towards them. That's it. Swing your arm, that's it. He went past me, did you see that? It only takes one to turn on you though. Then they all join in. It only takes one. I'm being brave at the moment. I'm being so brave. You don't realise how brave I'm being. I mean, they could kill me in an instant. Do you know what I mean? I'd have to be ready to jump into ferns, thistles. Just keep what you do. You don't look at them. You just march past them. Now, for some reason, I reckon they've got to be friendly to be up here. Because this is like a walker's place. Whew, I can feel my heart pounding then. I've never seen that. They're everywhere. 
And then at one point, they weren't everywhere. They were like just a few of them scattered about. But there we go. I've managed it. I've managed it, everyone. Oh, nearly time for a drink of water, I think, Gina, isn't it? Oh, over and out for a minute. 